Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about data view data in function. First, we will see the data view definition. Data view is the programming language is designed for transforming the data. By using the data view, we can manipulate the data and get required output. Number of the data views functions are available to satisfy the business requirement. So let's see the today data view date time function so first in this session we will cover the introduction and how we use that data view a date time function in the real times with the use cases so in this session we will talks about how to manipulate or transform different date time operations in data view it include various data view date time function to perform the date time conversion in the different format after this session you will able to perform the different date time operations first we will see how to print date month year hour minute second millisecond nanosecond in the date time we can achieve this all by using the now function so let's see how we can print this all of this formats this one is the data wave playground here we can perform over the use cases so let's start with the first now so now is a date time function by using this we can print date and the time so i want to print as a minute by using this now function we can I want to print the minute value. So by using the data view a now function, we can print the minute. If you see here, the number of the formats are available. So after the now, you can put one dot and whatever the function or the format you want to print, you can select this and you can get the output as a minute. So next is the hover we can print. You need to put simple dot and after that you can get hover function there. Now I will print the day. Today date is the 24 you can see and here the day is print after that month and year we can print here You can see month and year it is printing with the help of the now date time function. Now we are in which portal we can see with the help of the now. The quarter function is available here so you can click and you can see here now we are in the third quarter the today day is the day of week we can see with the help of that so in this week today day is the fourth day
from the year so today uh, day is the uh, 236 number of days in this way we can print the number of the nanosecond millisecond and seconds so all of the functions we can or formats we can achieve by using this now now we will see the custom date and time formats if the business requirement is come in that case we need to generate the custom date time format so we can take the example and we can understand the better so first if we want the output is like year month and date with the current date so let's see how we can achieve this now we can use the now function to print the current date and format p font as per the requirement we want format year month and date you can see we can achieve this by using this format simple format as such there are the other format is also we can see now so the month is 08 but we want the requirement is like i want in the word so we can print this year I, I want month in the word format so if we are putting the three capital m it means the short name of our month it is printing you can see here and if we are put four capital m in that case it is printing the complete name of month in this way we can achieve this now if we are getting the business requirement like uh, the current date time we want to print am or pm so we can achieve this by the formatting the dates and time This one is a simple format, it represents year, month, date. After that, it print hour, minute, and second. But the requirement is like I want to print AM or PM. So if you are simply put A after that, you can get the current time in which time zone. It means AM or PM. You can see there. in some cases we are getting the requirement like the current date and time we want in the ist or the utc time zone so we can achieve this by using the now function so you can see here the current date and time we are get in the ist format suppose requirement we are getting like we want to print in the utc format then simply in the place of the ist you need to print utc
here you can see the UTC time format we are getting. In this way, multiple date time formats uh, as per the custom requirement, you can manipulate here with the help of the now function. In the some cases, we want to add, subtract the day, month, year from the current date time. So this requirement we can achieve by using the period function. So we can see here uh, with the help of the example, how we can achieve this. So first requirement, if we need to add two days in the custom formatted date, so we can add the period function. If the custom formatted date is like year, month, and date. After that, simply you need to put plus and the period function. It is in this way we need to give. So you can see we have given the current date is a 12 and in the output we are getting the date as a 14 it means the two days is added in this way subtraction of two days from the custom formatted date also we can achieve instead of the plus you can put the minus and you can get the two days are minus from the or subtract from the current date. Now I want to add the two months. So how we can achieve this? We can let's see. year, month and date. So as an input, we have given the fourth as a May. As an input, we are given the fourth as a month and in the output we want to add the two months in the custom formatted month so we can get the month is the sixth in the same way we also get in case we are getting the requirement like we need to add the two years in the current date so we can add So here you can see we have given the year is a 2023 and output we want 2025. So we have added the two years by using the period function. The same way we can subtract this month, year and day also. In some cases we need to add hour, minute, second with the current time. So this also we can achieve by using the period function. So let's see one example of that. So you can get the better understanding. Now we can print the time by using the now function.
I have added the 30 minutes with the current take time and I want 40 seconds also. So you can see the difference between the two dates. So you can see the difference between the two times. Here I have print the time and I have add the two hours. So current hour is a 17 and after adding this it is showing as a 19. And I have added the 30 minutes. So current minutes is a 28 and after adding this it becomes 51 same way i have added the second also so in this case we also can subtract same our minute second from the current date current time in this way we have completed the first part of the date time function in the next part we will cover the modules mm -hmm.